folks, Will Brink here, Brinkstone.com, and uh, today I want to discuss a possibly exciting breakthrough in weight loss supplements, uh, which is lactoferrin. I have covered lactoferrin extensively in prior articles uh, on my site, which I will link in this vid, uh, that show a wide variety of potential uses for lactoferrin as an immune booster, as an antioxidant, uh, antiviral, antimicrobial, so on and so forth. And I think lactoferrin is pretty exciting stuff. Uh, but then, you know, I'm a bit of a nerd. So, uh, what is lactoferrin? Lactoferrin is a, a very bioactive peptide found in whey. It is found in very small amounts in whey, uh, usually less than 1% or, or close to not at all, depending on how the whey is processed and other factors. Uh, it, up until fairly recently, it was quite expensive and difficult to uh, produce lactoferrin in isolation in large quantities. Uh, one of the reasons, uh, even though there's a lot of good data on it, it has not been a terribly popular supplement, uh, but this uh, recent discoveries on its uh, weight loss effects may change that. Um, up until recently, uh, like I say, the focus on lactoferrin was more of its, its potential health benefits, disease fighting benefits type uh, effects. Uh, a couple of recent studies uh, showed that it also may be potent for weight loss, both in vitro, which is test tube, uh, which is of course your weakest type of study. It was also shown to have this effect in animals, which of course is a stronger study. And now there is uh, a couple of human studies, which are, of course, are your um, best bang for the buck study, your gold standard study, double blind placebo uh, studies. Uh, one of the problems with lactoferrin is that uh, people say, well, what's the dose I should take? And the answer is, we don't really know. Uh, there is not graded studies. That is, a graded study would be group A gets 100 milligrams, group B gets 200, group C gets 300, and find out which uh, of those doses is the most effective. Uh, we don't know that the answer to that. I will say that the common dose uh, of, on various studies in humans has been 300 milligrams, and the recent uh, study uh, mentioned in the article used 300 milligrams and uh, found weight loss. So that's what I would consider the starting point for lactoferrin. Uh, you, it won't do any harm to do more. Uh, it's definitely not um, a, a kind of stimulant, for example, so higher doses are unlikely to do any harm. If anything, they're probably going to do you some benefit. Uh, so I wouldn't worry about that. So my basic recommendation right now as far as weight loss would be 300 to 1,000 milligrams. Uh, there's two things you also need to know about lactoferrin is that it comes in two different forms. One is called halolactoferrin, which is iron saturated, and the other is called apolactoferrin, which is iron depleted. Uh, the, one of the main mechanisms of lactoferrin is as an iron sequestering peptide, and you can learn more about that uh, in the article so I don't have to go into any detail. So I generally recommend uh, apolactoferrin, which is iron depleted. Uh, there's a number of studies that show that um, some of the benefits uh, from lactoferrin are due to that iron depletion. Uh, again, it's, there's a lot of data out there. There's clearly benefit from standard lactoferrin, uh, halolactoferrin, but I, it appears the, the edge on total benefit is going to go to the apolactoferrin, which is a rarer uh, form to find via supplement companies. Uh, but take a look. And uh, if it does you any good, uh, if you try it and then you lose some weight, what have you, uh, you know, let me know. Give me some feedback on the Brink Zone. I, I, this is sort of a new frontier. This may be uh, an exciting breakthrough in weight loss supplements. We'll see. But uh, at least the, the data, certainly the data for its health benefits is very good, and the data for its weight loss benefits is growing. And so I'm alerting you to that. Uh, and uh, you might want to sub up. As you can see, I tend to be a little ahead of the curve on science uh, and a lot of other topics. And I'll see you all on the break zone.